What's going on y'all today we're talking about is your brand transactional or are you actually building a brand based on relationship building? Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I always say direct to consumers about that communication and being able to build that relationship with your customer base. So with that being said, I want to show you the differences between being a transactional company and then actually being a relationship based company. And that's going to take your brand so much further if we're talking about direct to consumer. If you're if we're not talking about direct to consumer, then this that's a whole different story. But this channel and these videos are specifically focused on how to build your direct to consumer brand. Direct to consumer is a business model in and of itself. And it's the most powerful thing when you really focus on it and you hone in on it. All right. So let's think about this transactional versus relationship. Right. Um, what are some things that you see people do that are transactional? They just have have sales. Literally, some brands only just have sales every like two times a month or something like that. And that's it. That's not building a brand. That's not sustainable when we're thinking about the margins, unless your margins are very high. But if you want to build sustainability in your brand, sustainability in your brand you don't want to always be having sales and if you have to depend on sales to sell your product then you're really being transactional and you're only attracting the customers that only care about just money and that's it you don't want that you want people to be invested into your brand based on the relationship that you've built with them right um another thing is like one here's a big thing that makes you transactional right so you have no email marketing in your direct to consumer business or in your e-commerce business or your product based business you can be a restaurant you can be selling products um, you know at a, at a brick and mortar but if you don't have this going on people are only looking at your company as a place to get deals you do not want to be known as a company where you people go just to get deals unless unless that's your business model, unless that's your um, the way that you market. But you don't want to be doing that. So you have to communicate through people so that you can build that relationship so that they can understand what your business is about. Right. What are you guys talking about? What do you guys stand for? If you don't have any of that, you're being transactional. Um, in the beginning of your business, um, usually people want to turn on their Shopify notifications because they love the sound of that money. But as you grow, that sound is going to get annoying. But also, I want you to think about this. When you only are happy because you made money, you're thinking from a transactional mindset, right? A transactional standpoint. You don't want it to be like that. Instead of saying, I made some more money, say, we gained a new family member. Right. That's a way that you can look at getting a new sale. It's not getting a sale. Of course, it is technically, but it's getting a new family member or a returning family member. Right. That means the more sales that you get, the stronger that your brand is becoming. Right. After you start factoring in your marketing and everything like that. So um, these are a couple things right here that makes your brand transactional. Um, another one is no story. Right. If your brand has no story, then how are people going to understand what the brand is about? It doesn't make sense. If people don't know what the brand is about, all they're going to say is, how can I get the cheapest thing? That's it. So if you have a product based business and you don't have any story, we got to fix that, right? We have to fix that. And so one thing I offer in my agency is an intensive. That's the only thing we offer. It's about a three hour session and we dive deep into your business so that we can strategically grow your company once we find the holes inside of your business. So um, you have no story, right? These are three major things right here, right? If you switch these up right here, you'll go from a transactional company to a company that's building a brand, right? So one of the biggest things is um, how do you come back? right how do you combat always having to do sales this right here usually when you have to always do sales that means that you have no content that you're putting out on social media but once you put out the content 
That is how you build the brand because now cons customers and consumers are starting to understand what you guys are about. So if you have a brick and mortar company, um, a restaurant, whatever, you need content to be able to leverage on the internet so that people can see what you guys stand for and what y'all are about, right? Um, all the communication channels, so the, so the multi, multi-communication channels, right? You want to be able to communicate with your people via email, SMS, um, ads, right? You want to be able to communicate with your people as many different ways as possible because someone who doesn't read email is going to read their text messages. Somebody who doesn't read text messages is going to read their email. Somebody who doesn't do both, they're going to uh, see your ads on social media. It's so many ways to find them and communicate with them, but you have to be invested into these platforms, right? So that you can communicate to your people direct to consumer. Because once you have a direct communication line of communication with a customer, you don't need a retailer. You don't need to put your, your, your product in stores because you have that person's email, that person's phone number, and you can do more creative things to get them to purchase, patronize your company, and allow your company to grow right you also want to have some type of story right um and this is kind of like your stance right you want to put the flag in the ground and say this is who we are this is what we stand for this is who we serve this is why we are here this is how we sell what we sell this is our process whatever there's so many ways you can tell the story right that's what i did for my eyewear company that's how i was able to to um you know do the kickstarter I, I take people on a journey i document the journey i document the process these are all important things that you have to do you cannot just look at your company as a way to get money and that's it now it is 2021 that way of doing business it's getting faded out phased out a lot of people say yeah i just want low-key money but the brand in and of itself needs to have these components to be a direct to consumer powerhouse and be taken seriously in the market right when i buy things from brands on the internet i look for the stories i look for all these different things to see if they have a strong direct to consumer brand right because the stronger you have you're building the relationship with your customers and potential customers right the more you do this the less you have to do this right the less you're going to be subjected to all of this right here and this is very 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 important so you want to tell the story and so you can tell one story five different ways, right? I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that as well. Um, you wanna have your, your lines of communication. You wanna put out the content. Direct to consumer is about putting out that content because the content, it creates the traffic and the traffic is gonna create the momentum and everything like that. So I have so many videos about all of these different things because it's very intricate, but I want you to focus on not being transactional and be more relationship based. Ask yourself, Instead of having sales, what can we do to still make money, right? The more sales you do, the more you have to sell. So why not just sell less and build a more? It's about quality over quantity. That's kind of like the mindset that you have to have. Quality over quantity. Quality over quant qu quantity. Always remember that. Quality customers is way more important than the amount that you get. So you want to think about these things right here, right? So um, ask yourself, do I have a transactional brand, company? Or do I actually have a brand, right? When you're just transactional, you don't have a brand. Because all people are looking at is just how they get the lowest price. When you have a brand, you're building a relationship long-term with customers. And that's what the biggest companies do in the world because they have, they've had the, the money and the resources to deploy to do so. So that's something I want you to think about as you're building your direct-to-consumer brand, right? Um, you can go, go grab the freebie, click the, the description, um, the link in the description, and uh, get the what is it called the the questions every direct to consumer brand owner needs to ask themselves so click that um it'll get sent to you and then you can kind of start to understand the mindset that it takes right to really 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 be able to um grow a brand rather than just have something that makes you money so uh thank you for your time and always remember everything you do in life it starts with the vision